Welcome to Safari. This video I'd like to show you the nuts and bolts of how to get around and use Safari. So we're looking at Bereshit Aleph in uh, the original Hebrew right now. In the upper right hand corner we have some language toggles that will let us click to jump into English or the side by side translation mode. There's an additional control here that will let you choose which side you want the Hebrew text to appear on in bilingual mode or in a single language mode whether you want the text to be broken apart by lines or all together in one chunk. As you scroll through any page in Safari, the right hand side will show commentaries and connections that are related to the text that you see. They'll scroll automatically to keep up with what you're looking at, but you can also click on any particular line to highlight all of the text that we know about related to it. The commentaries on the right will only show the first three lines of text, but you can click to expand them so that you can flip through and see what the different voices in the tradition are saying here. You can um, scroll independently through the commentaries as well with a mouse wheel or with gestures or by grabbing onto the scroll bar to move through all of those connections. <clears throat> as soon as you find something that you're interested in, you might want to start exploring more. Um, so you'll see that anytime you see a text uh, citation or a text name inside of Safari, you can click on those to immediately jump from one text into another. And if you keep doing this, you'll find that you can jump around all sorts of different texts very quickly. As you move around, you'll start to see a trail building up, up top here that'll keep track of all the different places you've been. So if you want to go back to where you started, say Genesis 1, you can click to do it like that. So back here in Genesis 1, we have 347 sources right now. If I click this button, it'll open a special sources panel to help me sort through them. I can also open this panel by just putting my mouse on the right hand side of the screen. This shows the sources broken down into the kinds of text that they are, as well as the kinds of connections that they have to this text, whether it's a commentary or a quotation. So if I'm just interested in what kind of philosophical text we have related to Genesis, I can click on that filter to see just that. Or if I only want to study Genesis with the commentary of Ibn Ezra, I can click on Ibn Ezra to get uh, just those commentaries right there. If I come back and click back on all texts, I can see everything we've got again. There's also a panel on the left hand side. If you move your mouse all the way to the left, you'll see the About Text panel. You can also open this panel by clicking the About Text button at the bottom. This panel tells you about the current text you're looking at. Um, what was the edition? Where did it come from? In this case, we see this is the JPS 1917 translation of the Tanakh. Safari will also be transparent about how it came here. This one was copied from opensudor.org, and this is the person who actually copied the text. For any text, you can click the full history to see all of the steps that have gone into bringing it into its current form right now. If we have more than one version of a text, you'll also see it listed here. So we're looking at JPS 1917 now, but another version is available is from the Jewish English Torah project. So I can click on that version uh, if I want to now open up a different translation of the text of Genesis, like we've done. So we've been sticking in Genesis right now, but there are a lot of other texts on Safari. To get around other texts, you can open through this text menu on the right, which gives you categories of all the different texts that you might be able to find. You can click to open and see what content we have available, uh, and then jump into any other text, just like that. Um, the text menu is sort of a smaller version of the full table of contents, which you can find inside of the Safari menu. All of the other big pieces of the site are listed here, and this uh, menu appears on every page in the site, so you can get around easily. Uh, inside of a particular text, you can navigate between the chapters or pages uh, by clicking on the right and left arrows, which will let you browse inside of one particular text. And if you want to just quickly jump to a text that you know about, let's say that I'm just interested in a particular daf of Gomorrah, I can simply type in the citations into this top bar, and I can jump to any text that I can name, just like that. You can also use this top bar to do search. So if there's some term that you're interested in where it comes up across um, the, all of Safari, you can do a search like this to jump into very particular texts. 
Um, the search works in English as well as in Hebrew, and we do have a lot more text available in Hebrew than we do in English right now. So some texts you'll only be able to find by searching in Hebrew right now. So this is a quick run through of how to move around inside of Safari. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us on our forum or send us an email directly. And we hope if you enjoy browsing and exploring the text of Safari, you might also consider contributing by helping to translate, copy text, or annotate text that we have. You can check out some of the other videos in our help section or YouTube channel to find out more.